Uh, theft in, in Minnesota is essentially the intent of a person to permanently deprive another of their property. There are different types of theft. We have a misdemeanor theft, which, which is theft that involves zero up to $500 in terms of property value. From $500 to $1,000, that would be a gross misdemeanor. And then we have felony theft. Anything over $1,000 is considered a felony. With respect to potential punishments, with a misdemeanor, it's zero to 90 days in jail and a fine. With respect to gross misdemeanors, it's zero to a year in jail with a $3,000 fine maximum. And with respect to felonies, then obviously uh, the, the, the penalty is a year and a day or more with substantially higher fines. Now, interestingly enough, in Minnesota, we don't have a statute that deals with what's called petty misdemeanor theft. Many people call and ask, well, I'm being charged, or they say, I'm being charged with petty theft. Actually, that's not a correct statement of the law. We do have petty thefts, but they only exist in a courtroom so long as the judge approves or sentences the person to less than a $300 fine. Unfortunately, if you're charged with shoplifting, for example, there is no such thing as petty shoplifting. It is a crime. It is not a payable offense. You must go to court. Even if it were a payable offense, why would you pay it? You're giving yourself a record. You don't want to do that. Thefts take many forms. There's shoplifting. There's employee theft. There is embezzlement, which is a form of employee theft. There's also what we call um, welfare fraud. That's not what the statute defines or, or, or calls it, but we have a thing called welfare fraud, and that's when people uh, wrongfully obtain public assistance. If you're on welfare, if you're getting aid from the state or from the county or the federal government, and you do so wrongfully, in most cases, that could be charged out as a felony because the amounts quickly add up to over $1,000. Thank you.